Hey guys, this is Sirius Center Temple here. Hopefully you guys can see me good. You got a new camera and stuff like that. Hopefully it's working all right. Today I'm making another video. And um, I got to come out and say this shit. And I know it's not going to sound good, but honestly, I already told you. If you don't like the video, you can leave it in the comments section below. But if you write anything negative or stupid, I will delete it. Or I'll just let you hate I won't even pay any attention to your stupid ass comment. That all goes to the idiots out there that don't want to understand simple shit. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the, uh, the 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 black man suffering in America and who was responsible for it. And I'm gonna have another individual's video uh, force feed you guys the knowledge on what the hell was happening in the U.S. and why the black man's suffering so much. And I would like to say this. Um. It is uh, female nature in society to start worshipping the image of any man that um, colonizes on their land. Well, forcefully, he um, militarily occupies their land. So basically this means if he's attacking the, the, the men that are in that land for resources or whatever. For example, the Spaniards coming or the, 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 the English or the Dutch or whoever coming into America... Because you already know that the, the, the true Native Americans were, or were the so-called African Americans that are already here. If uh, the French and the Italians and all these other people came here and they tried to militarily occupy uh, certain states in the U.S. with um, black men and black women here, it's only natural that a lot of the black women, not all of them, but a lot of a, a lot a lot of them, would um, want to uh, partake. And uh, giving themselves up to the Caucasian men that are militarily occupying the U.S. And the reason why is because they want nice things for themselves. They, they basically said, fuck our, fuck our people, what about me? So they were only focusing on themselves at that point in time. Yes, this is true. Search up what placage is. Search up what octoroon balls is. This is when black women betrayed their own men. Yes, this, this needs to be historically documented. Because a lot of people out here assume and think in their little inept minds that black women had the black man's back throughout all his suffering. Absolutely not. In fact, she betrayed him. You can't denote the, the truth. 1600s, 1500s, and, and further up. 15, 17, 1800. In the time span where a black man could look at a Caucasian woman, he would be fucking lynched for just smelling her fucking, her fucking odor. Let alone looking at her. In that time span, black women were going all over the world with these white men. When uh, all over the world dating these these white men, where when black men were in fucking captivity over there, and fucking suffering. Do you understand? See, you can't hide shit from me. See, I do my history properly. I know what's going on. You can't. You see, a lot of these um crazy ghetto black bitches that's out here that want to fuck shit up for black men and all this other shit. See, you bitches thought y'all was never going to get caught up with y'all bullshit. See, you ha you women were given a certain type of immunity in this country. And I'm not talking about all you, you black females. I'm talking about the ghetto, hood rat, ghetto gagger, stupid nigga bitch. That's the one I'm talking about. Not the other ones that are decent uh, human beings. I'm not talking about those. So you, you guys can just watch the video and laugh all you want. Because I'm talking about the, the stupid idiot. That could be your cousin or your sister or, or possibly even a friend or a cousin or something like that. That's out of her fucking mind. You see them every day. You see them every fucking day. Overweight. Wearing a weave on their head with dead 60 through hair. Like that's her hair. When we all know her hair is supposed to be a fucking afro. Why are you wearing six ether hairs? Because you want to be a Caucasian woman. You're suffering from um, systematic oppression. And they systematically uh, help oppress themselves really. Because if you look back, these black women, right, they were snitching to the white man about black men trying to uprise. See, why do I say that it's, it's, it's human, it's, it's, it's female nature to want to uh, 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 get with the men that are militarily occupying their, their, their country or their, 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 the landmass that they're on? is because of the fact of this. If your men are being oppressed, right? And these women want, they're, they're very selfish women, as we all have very selfish women in today's time, despite whatever race. It doesn't matter. A lot of these women are going to want to go to these uh, ca ca Caucasian men or whatever race of men that has military power. 
they have military power they have guns from the old world that they brought they brought with them from the new from the old world into the new world which is the u.s they call the u.s the, the new world they call the old world um europe and shit like that and they where did they get these guns they got it from moors dark pigmented people like myself and how did they get it from the moors from 1492 because the moors fell out of power because of what happened with the serious gods and the anunnaki okay and i'm gonna have another individual's video up here explaining to you guys you know what's going on because the same way he feels i feel the same fucking way can't stand these fucking women man these women are fucking crazy man you, you know these women have the most horrible fucking attitudes it's ridiculous man i want to put up with that shit and then and then and then when I tell people, oh, I I, I no longer date black women and stuff like this, people want to get a fucking nasty attitude and oh that's fucked up and this and that without even asking why. People just want to jump to assumptions and shit like that. All these women have done for me is caused me suffering, problems, arguments, fights. Women are disrespectful. They want to put their hands on you. And all this because of some bullshit. You, I'm going to show you exactly how these women behave. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you exactly how these women be behaving. Hold on. Let me, uh, because the, these women are fucking crazy, man. You, you got to get into an argument with them every day. They, they're constantly thinking you're cheating on them. They want to they wanna get into a physical confrontation. They can't, uh, they can't control their alcohol. They're constantly doing drugs. These women are constantly sleeping with other men. I mean, these, these women that want to be so-called professional and all this other shit, they want to sleep with the hood rat niggas and then get and get in trouble. And there's a constant cycle of um, a baby mama drama. Uh, the, this, this woman has a freaking kid. And then this nigga is a no good nigga, which she should have got with a man that has common sense. They, but they want a bad boy. They don't want a good guy. Then the guy goes to jail. And then, it's, it, then the kid has no father in the house. And then it's a constant fucking spiraling cycle. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, so uh, here we are. This guy gets his face cut by his ex-girlfriend because she's possibly jealous of of whatever the situation is. And you see his face is bleeding. This is a black man. This is the average black man in America. Most of the situations that's going on in, in with the, with the African American relationships in, in this in this in this society is basically the black woman taking out her anger and frustrations out on this man on the, on the man. And the man, you know, they be calling the cops on the man for the smallest things. He probably want to go out to chill with his friends when he gets home. These kinds of these these African American females, man, they will freaking call the cops on you and get your ass arrested for for the for the stupidest things. For the stupidest things. I mean, I have friends telling me, you know, I have friends telling me, yo, man, I'm with this chick. She's doing this and that and the other to me, and she's treating me unfairly like I'm an animal and shit like that. She, she's trying to deprive me of my human rights and stuff like that. I'm like, why the fuck do you guys keep dating these fucking women? Me, I, I stopped dating these women because I realized what's going on. See, the, the banksters in this country, they had an investment to make with these women. See, they, they needed these women. See, first off, they needed these women to sell out. They needed these women to sell out their own. And then they had to manipulate these women for 400 years. They had to manipulate them and, and, and make them worship the white image. So that, that now she will look at the white image as being all godlike. And she will look at her own image as being inferior. So now she she desires and wants to be something that she is not. So therefore, anytime she has a child, she will hate her own children. She will even hate the man that she's, she's supposed to be with because he has Negroid features. This is why they wear a weave on their head because they not they not proud of the what the fuck they are. You understand? There's a lot of crazy shit going on. A lot of this shit has to do with the government. And and I'm gonna have another individual coming up here and talking about this stuff. But look at this man's face. He's bleeding. Now listen, listen up. This is the average relationship with African American people. Do you understand? The black communities, man, it's 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 getting it's getting really fucked up out here, guys. I'm telling you guys, you 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 black men that's out there, save yourselves. The ones that 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 are not with a black woman right now, you might be with a black woman. She's giving you a lot of hard times. She's giving you problems, man. Stay away from these bitches because there's something not right with them. Listen to this shit. So, my ex girlfriend, she just beat me up because I don't want to be with her anymore. I just called the police on this bitch, and she outside right now. She just fucking cut me. Punch me in my nose, but you know what? 
I'm still a man. I ain't no punk ass man because I ain't hit her back. I ain't hit her back. She bust my fucking lip. She bust my nose. And she cut me and shit with this uh blade and shit. And she out here. I'm calling the police on you. I'm calling the police on you. Get a fucking away from me. Get a fuck away from this car, bitch. You crazy. You crazy, bitch. Look what you did in my face. Look what you did in my face. Fuck you. I'm calling the police. The police is on this way. The police. Get off the fucking car. Don't break my fucking with you. See that right there? See that right there for you guys? See that right there? See, this is the average relationship with an African American female. This is how these women act on an every day to day basis. They're mad fucking ratchet. They're out of their fucking minds. I mean, listen to this. I'm gonna show you two videos with this guy. Hello, gentlemen. At first, I was gonna do a video about simps and simping and symbiotic relationships they have with sluts. say that shit because every fucking day okay we are inundated by, by the ratchet behavior of black women every fucking day you, you see this shit on tv on reality shows you see this you see this shit with celebrities you see this shit on the streets you even have to hear this shit with these ratchet ass phone calls if you listen to a black radio station you have to hear none but ratchet ass phone calls on your way to work in the morning to the dj we are inundated by this shit we see it we hear it we are, we are, we drowning this shit up to our fucking necks, but you just trying to tell us that, oh, oh, no, no, these are the black women that you running into. Now, get the fuck out of here. That's bullshit. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. You know what? Okay. I'm going to do a thought experiment. I'm going to humor you bitches that say that shit just for a couple of minutes. So, so what you trying to suppose to me is that somewhere 
in this country. It's like a Jurassic Park style game reserve where they keep a bunch of lock, uh, a bunch of weave wearing, fat, overweight, belligerent, ignorant ass bitches that's locked up. And they keep these bitches on this game reserve to unleash on us so we can come to you and complain about this shit later. Because whoever's holding these bitches thinks that it's fun. You know, because after all, these are, the, these are the women that we're running into. You know, you can't try to make it look like this shit a bad luck accident if all of these men are saying the same thing and all of these men are making these fucking videos, okay? You can't try to make this shit look like it's a fucking bad luck accident anymore. You bitches are full of fucking shit. All of you, all of you black women that claim to be good black women, you're full of shit, and that's why we generally don't trust none of y'all asses now. Because you fucking fork tongue and you deceitful as hell, okay? All of you, you black women that claim to be good black women, this is why that shit is sickening. I'm gonna tell you why. At least these brothers will see other brothers that, that, that's, that's fucked up out there. And they'll try to, you know, talk to them. They'll try to pull their coat to certain things. Hey, you know, why don't you pull your pants up, shawty? Everybody's trying to see your drawers out here, man, for real. Real talk. Everybody's trying to see your drawers. Pull your pants up, man, for real. You know, um, I myself, you know, guys, young guys around my neighborhood have beef or whatever. I try to do whatever I can to mitigate that shit. To, and I, and, I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I don't stop the few murders out there. You know, I've worked in adult literacy programs. I've worked in programs that tried to gather petition signatures. And and, and, and and try to you know try to get elected officials to try to stop voter disenchant disenfranchisement of felons in the south. I I've tried and a lot of other brothers I know have tried to do things to improve the lot of black men in this country. But you you, you fake ass wanna be good black women don't do shit. You let these bitches run amok and unabated. You see them out there with, with, with leggings that three three sizes too small. You can see dead through their panties. Or someone on these wet panties. You can just see their pussy while they walking down the street. These bitches out here fucking all these random guys. Fucking, I, I, I see bitches fucking outside these days. You know, all type of shit. All type of shit I see. And so, you are trying to convince us that this is just a fucking bad luck accident. Fuck that shit. That shit no longer flies today. And y'all, y'all not trying to do nothing to mitigate it. Y'all not trying to do nothing to stop it. And, and, and furthermore, whenever one of you bitches says that shit to me, that oh, those are just the black women that you run into. You know what I know? I know that when I make this complaint, that you see that in yourself, and that's why you try to play like it doesn't exist. I know that either that's something you've done in the past, something that think that you might do in the future if the certain if a certain um set of circumstances were present for you to do it or something that your ass is already doing right now in the present that i just don't know about so that shit no longer flies after the after today that bullshit no longer motherfucking flies all of that not out and you're generalizing that shit don't apply either because guess what when it comes to generalization you motherfuckers patronize heavily patronized films and, and made hundreds of millions of dollars for the producers of films that made the very worst and negative generalizations about black men from the color purple to the to, to way next hell to everything in between. Y'all heavily patronized films in record numbers that shitted on black men. But now when we have a personal conversation with you, we just supposed to go over every individual black woman with a fine tooth comb? Nah, nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Any bitch that tells you any of this shit, you should cut that bitch off immediately. Except maybe if she's in your immediate family. Fuck all of that shit. Fuck these fake ass simps that defend these women. Fuck these, these fake ass talk show hosts. Fuck these bullshit ass magazines that, that, that black women patronize. And fuck the, the misandric, mangina, simp ass government of this country. And that's been my motherfucking rant. I'll holler at y'all. Now, now, this is the same guy again, and he's going to be explaining more about what happened and what took place here in the U.S. See, I was going to actually be the one to tell you guys what happened here, but I found this video of this individual, and he explained it, and he was, in, he was actually explaining it the way that I was going to explain it, but he even put a little bit more detail into it. So instead of me going through all this, I'm going to actually have him explain the rest of the information to you. 
But understand this, this is not an attack on anyone. This is the reality of the situation. These black females have gone insane. They're the only woman who wears a weave on their fucking head and it's not even the hair texture of their hair. There's no other woman on this planet that does that. The, the, the black community is so dysfunctional at this era in the time right now that I'm telling you, from here to freaking the end of 2019, when this government corporation fucking wants to end and all this other stuff, I'm telling you, when you black women with this fucking uh, uh, food stamp shit and this fucking uh, uh, um, um, government assistance and all this shit, Donald Trump is getting rid of that shit, so I don't even know what the frig you women are going to do. So you black brothers, you got to be careful with these women because these women, I'm telling you, these women got the devil in them. They do. Um, you know, these women want, anytime you bring up an uh, argument to why you don't want to be around these women and how crazy these women are, you know, they, they expect you to use a fine tooth comb in, in order to talk about them all so individually. Fuck all that shit. You women, look, all you women have ever done for me is caused me grief, stress, pain, and suffering. That's all these women have ever done for me. They have never done anything good for me. So with that being said, let's continue. Hello, gentlemen. For all of you who have paid for the latest content that I've made, I humbly thank you. The reason I decided to make this content paid is if, if these if these bitches are gonna come to my channel and flag down my video. That I know damn well don't have any hate speech, that I know damn well don't show violence, that I know damn well don't show scenes of death or war, that I know damn well um, isn't trying to incite violence against any and, and not even really swearing that much. If they are going to flag these videos down and fuck with the dissemination of information to you, brother, they're going to have to pay the dues. They are going to have to pay the dues. Standards. There's people out here with a million and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. 
and then here it is, I'm teetering on the verge of 6,000, and my views shoot up that quick. And it wasn't a beef video. Normally, the beef videos are a big draw, but it wasn't even a beef video, and it still shot up that quick. Probably because a lot of you brothers are tired of the videos that take a real whiny tone about this matter, and you're probably tired of all of the bullshit that the dating coaches are going to offer you. Look, like I told you before, I used to be an abject womanizer. I've been in relationships on, on different levels with all types of women from all over the fucking world. So I can offer you probably the realest fucking perspective it is. Straight up. I don't crash everything from bitches that rich to bitches from projects. So I, I, can, I, can, I can tell you about it all. Um, but right now, what I'm going to do in this video is to check it is is to um basically debunk the notion of quote unquote black love. Whenever I hear that statement, I get disgusted. Whenever I hear that statement I get disgusted. It's not because I have any hatred for black women. No. Mm -hmm. I don't have any hatred for black women. The reason I cringe when I hear that statement is because it leads black men to devalue them. On a mass scale, it leads black men to value themselves. Because when somebody uses the term black love, it's a tacit implication that the male female interpersonal relationship that a black man, and it's mostly used towards black men, it's mostly used to lure black women, black men in. You never hear black women going on to one another about black love. You don't hear that shit. All you hear from them when they talk to each other is how niggas ain't shit. But then when they talk to you, it's all about what black love. And those are just the ones that's being sneaky and trying to be halfway nice with their shit and trying to, you know, use use um, honey to catch the bees, as they say. Because most of them are just going to tell you niggas ain't shit or white men are better. Bottom line, it is what it is. But they use this term, this very vague and very nebulous term, very misleading time as a tacit message that somehow the the personal relationship that you have with a black female is some is some is for some reason more valid or more authentic than you can get elsewhere. And by that and by that notion alone it forces black men to devalue themselves because they are going to try to seek this notion of black love. They are going to try to seek an amenable relationship with a black woman. And in doing so, they're going to suffer a lot of abuses. They're going to suffer a lot of disrespect coming from these women. And they might suffer jail or death or disease coming from these women. But they're going to keep beating their head against the wall anyway, trying to find something that they might never get. Shit, the, the, the type of quote-unquote black love that most black men think of, you know what, you better off taking a goddamn um, uh, uh, a pie pan from Baker Square, putting some holes in it, going to a ribbon, trying to pan for gold. You'll probably find what you're looking for quicker than chasing so-called black love. It is what it is, man. A lot of you guys be fucking honest with yourself. I'm not, I'm not talking to myself so much. I'm preaching to the choir. They already know this shit. I'm talking to anybody who's new to this channel or anybody who's going to be willing to pay the nominal fee that I'm going to charge for this video if you've never heard of my channel before. Be real with your fucking self, seriously. This, this propaganda ass notion is peddled to brothers in, in the film industry, it's peddled to brothers in the music industry. It's peddled to brothers online and on social media, and it's even peddled to the green cards. It's, a, it's, it's a, 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 a matrix of propaganda that has many black men in danger, and they don't even know it. I mean, because if, 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 if you complain about black women, if you complain about what black women do, then if they know that they automatically have a built-in set of patrons, that is gonna that is gonna patronize them no matter what. Then what in real incentive do they have to change? They have no incentive to change. And for any 
want to be unicorns or want to be black and white that, 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 that are going to come to this video and pay the fee and are going to and are going to spout a bunch of deflections and bullshit let me just put it to you like this there are a set of criteria that any man in his right mind will have in his selection when looking for when he's trying to select another mate there are, there are a, 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 a set of criteria that we have when we're looking for a mate. And I'm gonna reel off this set, this, this set of criteria, and neither one of them is more important than the other. It, this is just what we're looking for in varying degrees of importance to varying men depending on their personality and or desire. Does the woman treat you good? Does the woman respect you? Does she look good? Does she turn you on? Does she do what you want in bed? Does she have, you know, a bunch of kids or, or any kids, period, by any other man? And that's not to say that I'm ruling out women with children, but in this life, frequently, it's not what we did, but how we did it. So, you know, I wouldn't rule out if a woman has, you know, if she's widowed or something, or maybe divorced um, under net or under circumstances that have to do with her, 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 her ex-husband. Like if she was married to a guy that got strung out on drugs and she divorced him, I don't have a problem with that. I'm in five of them so far. Is she respectable? You know, does she conduct herself respectably in public? You know, does she does she does she dress like a whore in other words? Is she a responsible enough adult that you think that moving forward she would make a good partner and or a good mother? Is she a good cook? Do you two get along? Does she like to waste money? Those 10 things right there, those 10 things right there are things that in varying degrees depending on the man that every man on this planet considers when he's looking for a baby. So in light of that, it has to be said that when it comes to the relations between black men and black women, it's not that black men hate you, it's that, that you don't check off enough of those boxes. You don't check off enough of those boxes. And see, what it is, is that a lot of black men don't want to admit that shit, but if you really, all of you black men that are gonna watch this video, think about everything that I'm saying, think about every single woman that you've been with. And then think about every single black woman that you've been with and ask yourself at the time that you met that woman and then got to know her on a short-term basis, did she fill enough of those boxes? Oh, and by the way, I missed one, not 10, 11. Is she overweight? Is she overweight? So for all of you unicorns and all of you the walks, you know damn well then when you look, maybe if you look at yourself or if you look at your fellow black woman, looking from a man's perspective, you know that most of these black bitches you know don't even check off half of those damn boxes. So don't come to my channel with that bullshit. But back to the notion of black love. So you have a group of women that over, over a over a 500 year process, a 500 year process, have been brainwashed yep. and worship the white man as a deity. Yup. A 500 year breaking process. Yup. To worship the white man as a deity. Unbelievable. To, to think that everything the white man does is automatically better. And some of these Negroes think like that too, but it's mostly the women. You have to admit it. The white man's ice is always colder to them. They have internalized their worship of the white man so much that they even attempt to disguise themselves as, the, as, as, a, as a white woman or a non-black woman so they can have a better chance of feeling like they can move the white woman aside and step into her place.
So where out of that does black love come? When you have a man that has a built-in level of disrespect for you. But of course, when you tell them this, they're going to say, well, you didn't protect us in slavery. You know what? For any black woman that says that we didn't protect you in slavery, it, 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 despite the fact that you had the Gullah War, you had the Yamasee War, you had the Cherokee War, you had the Black Hawk War, you had all of these wars with Aboriginal black men fighting against the English, fighting against the Dutch, fighting against the Spanish, and then against the United States. A never ending 300 year cycle of wars. Hell, in the Gulf War, the United States would have, was at such rich end that they asked the Spanish crown for help. That's why the Civil War started. They needed help. But you will make the claim that we didn't protect you nor slavery. You know what? Even if that was true, even if that was true, that's a really old grudge to hold. That's a really old grudge to hold. And the only thing that compares to that were the grudges that served held against Cro ethnic Croatian in the Balkan War. That's the only thing we could compare that to. So since you want to hold that grudge, I tell you what, let's make a deal. Since you want to say, even though it's not true, that we are protecting you doing slavery, that's fine. That's fine. We can hold a grudge on the same level. You fucking betrayed us before slavery even started. And so on that basis, we can probably go our separate ways. You don't want to fuck with me, and I don't want to fuck with you, for the most part. We can leave it at that. During the period of slavery, you had many slave rebellions, some recorded to history, most were. Men like Denmark Best, Nat Turk, started a slave rebellion. And you can ask any, you can you can look up historical records, or you can ask any very old black person in the South that's willing to be honest with you. A lot, basically all of those slave rebellions were informed upon by black women. You hear that? You hear that? They betrayed you. make the claim that nobody protected you doing slavery. So, with that type of treachery, how does black love come out of that? And that same type of treachery plays out to this very day. How quick are black women to pick up the phone and call the police on a black man for the slightest disagreement? You know what? When I was younger, a few of my partners, myself and a few of my partners from work, we decided, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think of which fight it was. I think it was that Mayweather and Corrales fight. That was a, that was a long while ago. And, and, and rest in peace to Diego Corrales, because that brother is deceased now, long deceased in a motorcycle accident. We went to go see Mayweather and Corrales. So, this, one, one, one of my partners had a woman at home that was pregnant. She never wanted him to go anywhere. And, 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 and he basically, except for going to work, going to the store, he granted her wishes. He didn't want to, he, he, he didn't go out and do nothing. And that, that's, on one level, it's admirable. He wanted to be there and take care of the woman. That's cool. And so he finally put his foot down when it came to this fight because he used to box. He was a huge boxing fan. He was like, look, I'm not going out to party. We just going to watch this fight. I'm going to watch this fight. I'm not going to miss this fight. This nigga been talking shit to Mayweather. I want to see what's going to happen. I got money on this fight. I'm going to see this fight. The man went to go see the fight with us at the sports bar, right? It's five of us. So 
he rolled with uh with another one of my partners. I have my car. So we followed each other. He lived the closest to the venue that we were watching the fight in. So we we take him back home first. We take him back home first. Um uh, so we the next day we we um uh, not the next day but the following Monday he didn't show up to work so we like man you know where's such and such at so then two days later he finally shows up to work and he's in the HR office for a, a couple of hours explaining what happened he comes out to the floor he tells us that this woman called the police on him saying that. He had slapped her, and this is about like maybe uh, five minutes before he walked in the door. So the man walks in the door, takes off his clothes, lays down to sleep, and all of a sudden, he said, because he was kind of faded, so he went to sleep real quick. So he said he woke up, and there's a policeman tapping on his chest with a fucking flashlight. And so he's in the car, like, before he even wakes up, he's in the police car, and he like, you know, what, what the fuck are y'all locking me up for? And so they told him, you know, yo, yo, um, your, your girlfriend said that you slapped him. And he's like, we ain't even had no arguments or nothing. I went to go see a fight. And so after the bitch wasn't mad no more, then she finally recanted her testimony. But you see that right there? He's lucky that he didn't get fired from work. He's lucky that he didn't get shot in his own fucking bedroom by the police. Where's the black love there? That same type of incident incident plays itself out every fucking day. Where's the black love there? Where is it? It's all bullshit. You have a group of women that even though they secretly and openly lust after non-black men, they do it on TV, they do it all over social media, they have books that the whole premise of the book is being in a servile relationship to a white man. Many books like this, many titles. Yup. They don't ever sign it. This is nothing that's hidden. But even though you have women that so openly lust after non-black men, you can't even get past the high with a non-black woman before they label you a coon. That type of hypocrisy even if a black man doesn't seek to have a personal relationship with a non-black woman, that type of hypocrisy has to be, if you're in your right mind, hypocrisy on that level has to be somewhat disgusting, at least somewhat disgusting, and it has to be called out. Right? So, you saying that you can do one thing, but if I even go halfway there, now I'm a cool. So it's a different set of rules for me and a different set of rules for you. There's no equity there. Where's the love? Because if you really love somebody, whether they with you or whether they not with you, you're supposed to want to see them do good and want to be happy. So on that basis right there, on that fundamental tenor right there, where's the love at? Where's the love? Tell me. Somebody tell me where the love is. Right? You want to know what love is? This is what love is to me. Love is finding a person that you at least get along with 80% of the time and that you have this person's best interests at heart even, even though it might overlap with your best interests are or it might even come through. But you have their best interests at, at heart because you care about them that much. And you always are considering how you can make them, how you can help them do better, and is any harm going to come to them, and trying to facilitate ways to help them do better and to prevent any harm coming to them. That's what the fuck love is. Do you really think? Do you really think that most black women feel that about black men? I'll wait. Do you really think that? You have a group of women that even in the reconstruction period, as 
the, and as the black man in America came to embody the proverbial saying of pulling himself up by his bootstraps and building cities in this country and learning trades, well not learning trades, but had already perfected the trades. Understand this, that the first ships built in the United States Navy were built by the first trade union in the United States, the carpenters and joiners of America, and many of those charter members were black men. Many of those carpenters and joiners that built those first ships in the fledgling United States Navy were black men. Our capital, Washington, D.C., was designed by a black civil engineer, Benjamin Manica, and, and mostly built by black sculptors, carpenters, stone basins, bricklayers, etc., etc. So after you built the nation for free and got turned to your own devices, you had to build your own nation because the black codes and segregation laws and Jim Crow legislation said that you couldn't cohabit with white folk. And so even though they were watching you build your own America, they actually had the nerve, the nerve to steal right negative propaganda about you, even though you have probably suffered the greatest injustice the world has ever known. Because this country is stolen land. This whole country is stolen land. The land you see that comprises the original 13 colonies is stolen land. Most of those were our ancestors that they made trees with and broke the trees. Don't you ever let them make you think that they conquered this land with the gun and the sword. No, they stole it. They conned their way out of it. They conned it. They conned their way into it. It's loaded dice. It's three-car molly. It's counting cars. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. They conned their way into it. They didn't take a motherfucking thing. Told you. See? You know, other countries that have been conquered and lost, like how the tribe of Judah lost to the Babylonians, or, 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 or later on they lost to the Greeks, they lost that shit. They lost their land fair and square. The South Africans, the, the Zulus, they fought the British and the Dutch. They lost their land fair and square. The indigenous people in Japan, the Ainu, when people started first coming there from mainland China and Korea, they lost their land fair and square. They lost it. War is a competition and they lost it. Us? No, we got conned. We got conned. So even though you slowly recovered in the reconstruction period yep. from the con game and the hundreds of years of slavery that had been visited upon you, you defined yourself as being a resourceful champion. And they still had the nerve to get in publications and say negative shit about you. Mm -hmm. Not even appreciate your work as a human being or a man. Tell me where the love comes from there. How does that signify love? Please tell me. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit, man. The black man has suffered way too damn much in this country. They flaunted. They openly flaunted. And to this day, continue to openly flaunt the nominal privilege that they have under the white power structure by frequently showing up places with their, with their non-black mates. That's not the privilege they have. A black woman can, can fuck whoever she wants to. And has been able to for the past 500 years. Hear that? They want to make it look like they do interracial dating on a reactionary basis when interracial dating is legal in the first place because of love and mercy, Virginia. A relationship between a, a white man and a black woman. So never believe that lie either. Yeah, back then that was happening all the time. But they flaunt their privileges and they've been flaunted. Even at the height of the 
Tanisha era when a black man could be fucking hung at this member. Jesus Christ, man. Damn. For sniffing a white woman's fucking fart. You had Hollywood film stars openly marrying black Hollywood female film stars openly marrying white men. You had in every major city and minor city in America, you had black women prostitutes openly cavorting, when mistresses openly cavorting with white men. The hypocrisy. Shit. Hell, I have older relatives that tell me that depending on where you live, if you live in the north, you might be able to get you you, you can go if, if, if you got the money and you got the game to go after a beautiful black woman. But they told me if you stay in the south, you just find you a woman that can cook and leave it at that. This was 1600s, 1500s, and up. To have a beautiful black woman. A beautiful black wife in the South mm. up, and up until like the 1970s was dangerous. Because if you're in danger and having to raise a white man's kid and have why this black bitch gives you some excuse about, oh, well, her grandmother was an Indian princess, or you might have to stand up verbally or whatever to some type of public disrespect of your woman. And either risk the point of being totally fucking emasculated or having your life taken. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. This is what a lot of older black men tell me. <laughs> but even though they know that they had that type of privilege over you, they openly flaunt it. But then when you want to approach the same type of activity, they call you everything but a child of God. Tell me where the love in it. Yeah, they will talk shit to you. Hypocrites, man. Hypocrites. And then you have the civil rights era. Now, the civil rights era is unique because a lot of these brothers that believe in this black love shit, they actually use, they forget all of this history going from the fucking 1500s up into the 1960s. They <laughs> forget all of that history. They, they wipe their memory clean of that. They forget all of that history. And the mistake with a lot of these brothers, a lot of these pro-black simps, a lot of these erotic romance things that believe that black love is real. See, the 1500s all the way up to now, black women have been screwing um, black men over with the white man. This is what they've been doing. So black man, in this country, you are a prisoner. The black woman is your warden in jail. She is your jail warden. She is the cops. She is the, the security guard. She's security. She's the jail warden. And guess who the CEO is? The white man. That's the situation in this country, man. That's how they got it in this country, man. That's why they call you three-fifths of a human being. Because they want to keep you like fucking cattle. They want to treat you like fucking cattle. This is why they kill you in the street anytime they fucking want to. And that's not to say that you can't have a relationship with a black woman. No. You can There are brothers... You know, you, uh, uh, trust me, I know from experience, a good relationship with a black woman is possible. To be with a black woman that respects you and loves you is possible. But it's not institutional by a long shot. And that's, and that's the problem. It's not institutional. The mass majority of black women in, on per capita are fucking insane. The ones, like I told you, there are a very small percentage of African American females that behave like actual little ladies. They have respect for themselves. They're good women. But that's a very tiny amount. In comparison to the mass majority that are fucking out of their minds. The, the mentality is not institutionalized. The, well, the mentality that's institutionalized is the ratchet ghetto culture. Shit. With that damn rub right there. It's not institutional. So for all of you Ronnie Romance ass niggas that do believe that it's institutional. You basically omit the centuries-long treachery and disrespect coming from black women. <laughs> you omit all of that. And, you know, you, you omit all of that, and then you use the 60s as a starting reference point. You use the 60s as a, re as a reference point because you fall under the impression that these women out there... You know, marching with Dr. King and Megan Evans and all of them and facing water holes and, and then you see a female Black Panther. You use that 
as your iconography upon which you compare today's black women to and you sit there at night praying for a return to that, but it's, it's never going to return to that. You're in denial. Return to that. Those conservative hairdos, those long dresses, that shit ain't coming back. It's not coming back. The Afro. Black man, stop being a simp and realize the truth, my man. I know you want this woman to change, but she ain't about to change no damn time soon. So, so the Lord has to come in here and destroy this whole fucking country. Babylon got to fall and everything else. Stop being in fucking denial. What the fuck is your problem? You look like an idiot. Women cutting up your face. Women disrespecting the fuck out of you. What do you have to show for it? Black love, nigga, please. That shit is, not, that shit is non-existent, man. The, the whole black diaspora has been completely destroyed. And I told you, y'all more, so I don't know why y'all still calling yourselves black. You people kill me, man. Let's finish this shit off, man. The leather jacket is not coming back. And if it does come back, it's going to be in a form that's going to be unrecognizable. I eat black lives matter. Bless me. They don't give a fuck about you one way or the other. And I'm willing to use your death to leverage your political force. So, on the heels of the 60s, you have feminism. So, you and... All right, all right. So you see that right there, huh? Hold on. Whew. The point is to explain how in the 1500s, these black females have been screwing you guys over. And by you guys constantly defending these women, and constantly, you know, making up excuses for why a woman's like this and all this other, that, uh, other shit like that. You're basically omitting all the treachery and the disrespect of these freaking women and how they've been treating you since the 1500s all the way up to now. So when you see these women acting ratchet, ghetto, retarded, stupid, and acting like a bunch of fucking raving maniacs and idiots fighting with other women and all this. I mean, look at the Atlanta Housewives and all this, all these reality TV shows with all these black women fucking each other up and fighting and acting like a bunch of stupid ass bitches and shit. They're, they're, they're hood rats, bro. What the fuck you wasting your time dealing with these bitches? These bitches are crazy. They're not about to change. They have a mental disease that was given to them by a fucking white man. They're both against you in this country, man. Don't you fucking get it? Shit, it's, it's, it's a goddamn shame I gotta make this video and put myself out there. But I don't give a fuck about what anybody thinks. This is my fucking channel. I put it up here, whatever the fuck I want to put up here. And if you got a problem with that, it's your fucking problem. And as I said again too, there's a small percentage of black women that are actually fucking normal. That they're okay, mentally. They do exist. <laughs> yes, they do exist. But I'm not talking about those. No, no, those can be pushed to the side. They're not the mass majority. I'm talking about the ones on per capita. The insane ones. These bitches are out of their fucking minds. And they're looking to destroy you, black man. They're looking to destroy you. I'm trying to save you. Get away from them and deal with something else. Or just either stay by yourself or deal with them. Some, uh, oh, what about the black race? Oh, what's going to happen if we don't be with these women? Oh, the black race is going to go extinct. No, 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 motherfucker. That's, that's not about to happen. See? That's not about to happen, see. You here wondering, worried about the fucking future. I'm trying to save your ass right now. I'm trying to save you right now. Stop worrying about the fucking future and worry about right now. Because right now is all you fucking got. You guys want to keep coming here and acting a fool. And thinking that these women are going to change and all this shit. That's not going to happen. He got to show up and fix all this shit. Because y'all cause, cause can't fix none of this shit. Remember, y'all barely own shit out here to save your own asses. Black people don't even get along. It's a constant struggle. You ever wonder why you call yourselves brothers and sisters? Because y'all all fucking betrayed each other at some point. And it's really not not even... It's not, it, 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 I mean, in today's society, you know, black people are... are they're, not, they're not united. And it's really the, the treachery of this black female... This fucking stupid ass bitch that's out there fucking up shit. You saw that man's face cut the fuck up and bleeding? That bitch could have killed him. She got fucking ripped one of his eyes out or something. That bitch was fucking insane. You didn't see that shit? But you motherfuckers want to keep defending these women. And I'm telling you, the whole world sees it. This woman's a fucking joke. Why are you dealing with her? I will never be able to understand you niggas. Oh, 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 this is not... I don't give a fuck what you got to say, bro. Like I said... 
I see a comment and it looks like it don't make no sense to me. Delete. I'm not going to even finish reading this shit. Do you understand? I can't stand these fucking women, man. Can't stand them at all, man. Can't stand them at all, man. Can't. I can't stand these fucking women. I don't give a fuck who, who's judging. I don't give a fuck. Do you understand? These are my whole life dealing with these freaking women. They're insane. Even a fucking male lady. She shows up. We get into a fucking argument because she can't chill the fuck out and calm and relax herself and calm down. Every small little thing. She, she goes into a fucking frenzy and wants to argue and start cursing and acting crazy. While I'm just there staring and looking at her like this. Is this stupid black bitch insane? That's not how you act when you come to somebody's house. Have some respect. These women are completely out of line, man. I don't want them. Personally, I tell you straight up right now. I don't want them. I don't want them. You want them, you can have them. But you're going to have to t take and deal with their freaking mental problems. Because these women are completely out of line. They're out of control. These, these fucking pieces of shit in government, they know what they've done to those women. And half of the pro fault is the black women's fault. They're the ones who did this to themselves, really. Anytime we wanted to do an uprise, they would snitch the white man. And that's why y'all don't control shit today. Thank the black woman for that. The reason why we don't own none today? Thank that black woman for that. Thank that black bitch for that. Because that's not a lady. It's a bitch. You know why I say that? Because there's already proof that if this bitch wouldn't have fucking snitched to that fucking white man, we would have been able to kick him out. He was trying to get the resources from the U.S. He can't. You can't fight and monetize resources and, and, and get all these rich re mineral resources and all this stuff at the same time. You can't do the two at the same time in a war. You got to focus all your manpower doing one thing, oppressing people. So they got to oppress you first and keep you in a fucked up situation. Have your woman constantly snitching out and anytime you're going to get out of line with these white individuals, these white people. And then they can take the mineral resources and create all the bullshit and evil shit that they want to create in this fucked up country to fuck you over with. Do you understand? It was a setup. It was a fucking setup. She, that black bitch set you up. That white man set you up. And the Khazarian Zionist Jews in this country, they set you up too. This world ain't sunshine and fucking rainbows. You understand? You better wake the fuck up and understand. That woman is against you, man. Brother, she's against you and she's going to fuck you over at some point. You saw that man's fucked up ass face, right? I've been into it with these fucking women. You understand? These women, these women are out of their fucking minds. Now, now they're, they're suffering from mental problems. They want to be like a man or something. <laughs> these women are fucking crazy. Hey, man, whatever. Hey, man, this is Serious Center Temple. I'm out, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever the fuck. I'm, I'm too upset to even talk anymore. I'm done with this fucking video. Peace out, guys. And, uh, hey, yo, Big Sal, stay up, man. Yo, John, was good? And, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Whatever. It's a fucking reality. This is why I don't even fuck with these women. Because I know all the historical truths about these women. Do you understand? Hey man, it's a sad reality, man. And it's all the government in the end. Manipulating. Because there's all in every group of women, there's always gonna be women that are more um uh, uh selfish and shit like that. They use the ones that were more selfish. And it was a lot of them doing it. Search up placage, search up octoroon balls. What is that? And what what it really was. I might even make a video on that shit. Cause cause these these women they think that this channel is gonna be uh you know just here praising them and all this other shit. No 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 no. You got dirt too. We're gonna put that in the forefront. Just like how I went after the white man, I'm going after your ass too. Shit. Nah, I don't I don't care, yo. I don't give a fuck, yo. Because you know what it is. You women have an immunity in this country. Anytime black men talk about China, oh, we the worst shit in the whole world. Look at the 60s and 70s. These women were getting up on TV talking about that black men ain't shit, da-da-da, da-da-da. When these men were fighting to protect your ass in all situations. Men dying for y'all and all this other shit. And this is how you show your fucking appreciation? Fuck off. So with that being said, uh, this is Serious in the Temple. I'm out. Bye.